Right you guys, got another virus removal video here for you. As you can see, we can't boot into uh, Windows here. It keeps locking up. Let's reboot and try safe mobile networking. So I'm in tapping F8 on a keyboard. Try safe mobile networking to see if we can get to the desktop. As you can see, it locks up at this point here. Doesn't let me go any further. So what I'm going to do is boot up into Kaspersky Rescue CD. Okay, push enter on the keyboard and I'm going to choose my language. Then push 1. And then we're going to go into Rescue Disk uh, with Graphic Mode. Let this load up. Gonna push continue. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, push this on uh, update in case I wanna use this scanning tool. So I'm gonna update it first. Let this update, and while that's doing that, what I'm gonna do is have a little physical look of the drive itself. So I'm gonna go into. Uh, C drive here. Let's try program data first. Nothing in there. Okay, users. Then the account. Let's check the desktop. Okay, I can see uh, one.exe and also auto run.inf, which is a uh, or nasty all right so I'm going to remove this from the system right click and remove that to trash I'm gonna have a quick look into app data here and then roaming okay that looks okay then local quick look in temp let's go back to the main area here of the C root directory and then go into Windows and you can see it's in uh, detail mode here all you need to do here is go view mode and then put it on details now once we're in here I'm gonna have a quick look here which date modified all the way down to the bottom here date Okay, we can see a file here which needs to be deleted. I can see that's the time it was infected. Go to the prefetch here. Can remove these from the system and these as well. into system 32 we can see a file here it's another infection same time as the other one it's so going to remove that to trash okay Let's click on name here come up to the top I'm going to try uh, drivers it's a common area for root kits and stuff and click on date again and I can see two files already at the same time as the other ones which is a telltale sign of it's the same virus normally which is more than likely a root kit or something like that and I can see PCI dump.sys and also ACPIE C dot sys. Now I'm going to have both of these off the system. Okay, now I'm not worried about these. Uh, mbam dot sys. That's malware bytes. Okay, 
Okay. Let's just have a quick look there. Into the system here. That's okay. Okay, so what I want to do here is going to close this off and then I'm going to fire up our uh, registry editor. Going to come down to H key local machine and then system and then current control set here and then services have a, let's have a look into the services here come down to the uh, P area there we go And I can see that file there. And this was the one that had that, um, it's probably a root kit on the system or some sort of uh, nasty infection. But I can see that's the .sys file there. So that's going to come out there. We've deleted that. So I'm going to remove this. Okay. Okay, we're going to have this out as well. That's the acpiec.sys file, so that's going to be deleted as well. Okay, so let me go back to uh, current control set two now on this on this one and go to services. And just see if we've got that same file. Okay, it's not there. Okay. Just go into software here, then Microsoft. Let's have a look inside Windows and in current uh, current version here. In the run area, there's nothing there. Okay. Okay, one last area here. Come down to the Windows NT area. Gonna try the win log on. Just make sure everything's okay. Okay, so let's try and reboot this and see whether we can get this to boot back up. Now we could run a scan from here, but I want to just see if we can get this back to the desktop. So let's reboot.
So I'm going to boot in to uh, repair your computer here just to make sure it hasn't damaged the bootloader so we can get back in. Just going to do a fix boot. Gonna go next here. Okay, if you've got your password you need to put it in. And then I'm gonna go to you could try a startup repair here, just I'm gonna quickly go to here. Make sure in the Windows directory here. do again okay exit out of this reboot the system and there we go straight to the desktop And back at the desktop. Now it's essential that you run other scans on the system, i.e., Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes. Maybe try out uh, ASW, MBR, just to make sure you've got no uh, master boot record virus on there. But um, TDSS Killer is another quick one to see if you've got any root kits. And uh, you want to make sure by just doing quick scans of these, an ESET Online Scanner, just to make sure the system's fully cleaned. Now I know, I'm just going to do a quick scan here, well, I know the system should be clean now. Okay, that's all come up clean as you can see, no infections, that's good. So pretty much I think that's going to be about it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk, if you enjoyed these videos hit that subscribe button guys, also rate and favourite my videos. And if you've got any requests for videos, then send me a message on YouTube. And uh, I'm sorry about the forums. People have been messaging me about the forums. Forums have been taken down. Um, there was no one helping me to maintain it, and it was very difficult to keep up uh, on my own. So it's now been sort of sidelined for the time being. Uh, but I'll let you know in the future if it's going to be put back up. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.